Hi, I'm Alana from Pitcam, and we're sitting here backstage with Silverstein. Hello. So the new album's coming out in April? Yeah, April 25th. Are you guys stoked? We are really stoked. It's, uh, it came out great. We're really happy with it. We spent a lot of time on it. And uh, it's actually been, we've been waiting for a long time for it to come out. So it's like, finally, it's like almost here. Are you guys hoping that this will be like the best album that you guys have made so far? Uh, I think it is the best album we've made so far. I mean, it would be great if everybody thought that in the world and everyone was like, this is the greatest album ever. <laughs> and everyone bought it. But uh, to be honest, you know, it's, it's, we just make the music we want to make and we don't worry about that stuff too much. Yeah. Yeah. Here's hoping. <laughs> Uh, so the guy who made your art, uh, did the album artwork, he made all the other ones too. Um, what was it, Martin? Martin Whitfield. Yeah. Uh, do you want to tell us a bit about the idea? It's like a bird carrying a lantern, maybe how you came up with the idea? or. Uh, yeah, just birds are really cool. And we never had a bird on an album cover before, so we thought it was like just a cool thing to do. Um, yeah, I guess. <laughs> I think uh, we we're hoping like because a lot of people have tattoos, and <laughs> oh like ta an eagle tattoo over like the chest is like kind of a common one. It would just be a really great tattoo chest piece. So we're hoping people will get that. Yeah. <laughs> is that the real reason? More or less. What yeah. Is, what he said. Okay. Um, you guys have a live DVD. Do you think? Did you feel more pressured while playing, knowing that they were going to film it and put it on DVD? Oh, absolutely. <laughs> Yeah. Are you guys watching out what you're saying or playing? Not saying. I think I was as dumb as I ever am uh, up there. But uh, the thing with the cutting, the, the say, stuff saying between, they can cut that out and whatever. But actually playing and singing in key, I was like really being careful to hit all the notes. And <laughs> probably you were trying to make sure you hit all the bass. Yeah. But it's tough because, because when you're filming, you want to look you know, like yeah. you're rocking out too. So it's hard because you have to... You know, you want to be like moving around and into it, but you got to hit all the notes perfect. So it's tough. It's, it was a tough thing, but it ended up coming out pretty good. We're really happy with the DVD. Uh, what is the weirdest thing a fan has ever said to you? <laughs> um, I don't know. I think one time this mom wanted us to sign her baby. That was pretty weird. Yeah, this dude last night even, he like came up and he was like, My have a shoe. Like, can we trade? I'm like, we don't have the same shoe. <laughs> I'm not gonna wear two different shoes. He's like, oh, 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 and he was really, really mad at me that I wouldn't trade my shoe with him. I don't know. That was just last night. So you can imagine over the course of, uh, you know, how many, many shows we played, like 1,300 shows. We things get weird. Things get weird. Yeah. All with, all the time. Can you think of any stories? Or um, there's there's two specific people that really come to mind. Uh, crazy fans. One, one's a guy from Denver, his name's William Woods. You're going to say his name? Are you yeah, sure he's not going to watch it? William yeah. Woods, William you can look Woods. him up. William Woods. I love the guy, but uh, go on. He's great. He's, he's the most, you know when like the kind of typical, like really excited to meet someone person? Take that and like times 10, times ten at <laughs> least. And then it's like every time, you think that like you meet someone like 10 or 15 times, every time it's kind of just like, oh hey, what's up, we've met. But no, it's more and more every time. He's just like so excited, and like he'll send me emails. Uh, Did you give him your email address? Well, yeah. I mean, it's our email addresses are on our website. On the website, yeah. Shane at SilversteinMusic.com. So Bill uh, at SilversteinMusic.com. Yeah. So we just have. He's got. He sends me an email, pretty much every time that we do anything or any time that we're coming to his city, and uh, he just gets so excited. Like, I can't believe, he, the, the emails, they're all in caps locks, and they're just really long, and... Has he um, ever drove anywhere, like, to oh yeah, see... Well, oh, yeah, well, he'll, he'll pretty much come see us anywhere in Colorado, so, um, but yeah. And you guys should put him on the guest list. Yeah, I think we do sometimes. I think we do, yeah. Yeah, we've hooked but him up. But a lot of times, he'll, he'll, like, buy a ticket before, like, he'll, the day the tickets go on, says, like, I bought my tickets, I'm so st excited for the show, like, <laughs> ah, so... Yeah, it's good then, times. We have other fans who have like followed us around for like hundreds of shows and gotten crazy tattoos and sit outside of our apartment buildings and you know we've got a lot of crazy fans. Yep. You guys have it rough. <laughs> <laughs> uh, when's the next time you guys have off and for how long? Uh, well, we're on tour on this tour for about another week and then we have maybe about two or three weeks off at home, so that'll be nice. Hopefully it'll be springtime. It was snowing 
last yesterday. time when we checked. Uh, so hopefully the snow will go away. We can watch some baseball, and uh, then we go back out on tour in late April in the United States. And what's the first thing that you do when you get home? Take a shit. <laughs> Wash my clothes. Usually. They're usually pretty dirty after a tour. Really? Oh, first thing you do? Well, the first day. <laughs> I like to be organized. I was just being honest, sorry. Well, it is, you know, if, if we're going to talk about it, you really, you walk into your own place. You drop and, your bag no, down. No, but you, you get it, there's like a feeling. It's like, oh, I'm home. To the toilet, you know? Like, <laughs> it is It's true. like a laxative, you it know? It is true. It's like this comfort thing. It just happens. I think I feel like every time I go to my mom's house, it's like that. That's it's what it's like. It's like, oh, I'm here. Oh, I got to use your bathroom. <laughs> just like, did you just come here to shit? Like, kind of. Welcome, Mom. Uh, no, I'm just kidding. Use the bathroom. Yeah. Um, so if you were a rapper, what would be your Eminem. gangster name? Oh, no, you have to make up your own name. Oh. <laughs> I just tried to answer it before you well, finished you the question. Well, you kind of got one in it. I got a pretty good one. Stole it from Eminem, but... Yeah, I guess I can't be Eminem. No. no Rapper but, name. The other one. You got one. Oh, yeah, yeah. I got one. Um, The real Slim Shaney. <laughs> Slim Shaney, for short. Yeah. Please stand up. Please, Please stand, stand up. up. <laughs> um, I don't know. I'd have to think of a good one. Oh, Probably have to be, like, the notorious B-I-L or something. <laughs> <laughs> I like that. <laughs> B I L L. How many times do you think you'd get shot? Uh, at least six times in the face. <laughs> oh wait, no, no, no. Fifty Cent was nine times, right? No, yeah. we got wait, wait, was it like twelve times? Oh, so. gotta go thirteen then. <laughs> you could be, you could be a British, the British version of Fifty Cent, and Fifty Cent, and be Fifty P. Fifty P. Yeah, that'd be pretty good. <laughs> 50 Although, P. wouldn't it be like Thirty P with the like exchange with the exchange. rate? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I like that. Pretty good name. <laughs> you should change the name. <laughs> so you still get shot the same amount of times in the face, probably though. Yeah, right. Well, they don't really have guns over here. No. Probably just get stabbed. Yeah, to get juked for sure. I've seen some movies. So in a lot of music videos, there's always like hot chicks. That too, but also like in hotel rooms where rock bands just go crazy and break everything. Mm -hmm. Have you guys ever done that in a hotel room or a backstage, maybe? Just, no. like, kind of destroying stuff? We actually usually clean up a little bit before we leave, <laughs> yeah. actually. Yeah. We tidy up, yeah. We <laughs> feel bad for the maids. Yeah. We're like, Ugh, okay, we should throw away our garbage and maybe make our bed a little bit. <laughs> We're kind of the opposite of that, I think. So you guys have never broken anything? Or? No, we, well, when we started touring, we couldn't afford to get hotel rooms, and we had a really small van that we were touring in, so we would put out a sign at the merch table that said, like, hi, can we, like, sleep at, sleep, your, house. Sleep at your house, right? So... We and like we're Canadian, we're really polite, and uh, we always felt like we would need to, like, you know, we're guests in people's homes. So once we started not staying at people's houses, we were in that mentality for so long that we, like, you know, we get to a hotel and you, you kind of take your shoes off at the door. And we've definitely had we definitely had some moments. I mean, generally, when you drink uh, a lot. <laughs> You, sometimes things can get a little wild, and we've had some pretty crazy hotel parties and in our day. You know? time, but time. in terms of like like the hangover, where you wake up the next morning and there's a tiger in the bathroom, um, maybe only that's only happened a couple times. But yeah, we've had it. We've had our day. One time we stayed, uh, we're staying with a kid, and he uh, told us that it was like his family's house, but it turns out it was his neighbor's house that he was house sitting, and. We were like eating all their food, and it was like right before Thanksgiving, and we we're just like eating their food. And then all of a sudden, we found out that we like looked on the wall, and there was like a photo of another family that didn't have him in it. We we're like, wait a minute, like, why aren't you in the photo? He's like, oh, well, like, it's actually my neighbor's house, but like, it's totally cool. Like, you can, you can still eat all their food. And it's like, I feel like really <laughs> yeah, bad. Yeah, and we're us. like smoking and drinking in the house, and then he lit his balls on fire. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm not even making that up. And, uh, it was quite an eventful night. I think he just wanted any possible way for you guys to stay with him. Yeah, like, he, overnight. Thought, he thought by lighting his balls on fire we were going to be really impressed, but it just smelled like balls. It wasn't that great. <laughs>